Hi everyone. If you are in a situation where you are one teacher in a learning environment that shares an active panel with many other teachers, or you are wishing to set up um, learning groups, so for instance literacy groups or maths groups that have specific apps that are subject specific to those learners, or you want to create your own folder of apps that are subject specific to your apps, uh, to your subject, sorry, then you may wish to make use of folder options. So you can see here I have my home screen. It consists of individual apps like these, and then I've got some folders of different apps. So over here I've got my robotics apps, and over here I've got my um, Microsoft apps and my Google apps for education, for example. Um, I can tell the folders because they have lots of little app um, thumbnails inside them. And if I was to click on them, it doesn't open the app, it opens my folder and from there I could open my app. And what you'll notice is I've got six apps in this folder, even though I can only see four on the surface here. So this um, is something that's quite useful to do, as I was saying, if you want to set up subject folders, either for your learners or for yourself, if you're a teacher who is sharing an active panel in either an open plan classroom with many teachers in there, or uh, the sort of more traditional style secondary environment or a library environment where you might have many different teachers sharing the one board. This um, is an alternative to setting up individual user profiles. So you could set up your own user profile, but this is perhaps an alternative to doing that. It's sometimes a bit simpler. Um, so how do we set up a folder? Well, we set it up the way we would set up a bubble. We add it to our ring. So we hold down inside the ring and up pops our little white box. Then we click plus add bubble. But instead of choosing a generic app, which would just put one app on, we're going to choose the bottom option, folder. As you can see at the top now, I have my little folder that's empty and waiting, and I can add apps to it in two different ways. I can either hold down and drag an app in that's already on my ring, like so, or I can tap on my bubble or my folder icon bubble, and lo and behold, there is a plus. I'm going to click on that. There's my generic app option. And I can now add different apps. Let's make this an art folder or an arts folder. Uh, there we go. Like so. Then I just tap away and we can see it's added those little icons in there. Now I had a specific request um, to show how we can then change the image that's on the front of that folder. So personally, I like having the images or the thumbnails of the apps inside it on there so I can identify those. But if you wish to put a more subject specific image on there or something that you identify with more or your learners identify with more, then you can absolutely change that um, face of the folder. So we're going to hold down, not tap, hold down and the most obvious choice out of those is that we're going to edit the icon. Okay, three options pop up. The, de the default, which is what we already see here, so those little thumbnails of, um, of the icons there. From gallery, if I chose that one, it would take me out to where I can access images um, on my Active Connect, but I'm going to choose from Icon Pack because this was the request. Now I already have two Icon Packs loaded on my device, Polycon and Viral. When you first do this, you'll probably see that home button and dot 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 download more. Well, we're obviously going to download more. I'm going to choose to open this with the Play Store. You may or may not have that option, um, only because I know that there are thousands of icon packs available, and I've already scoped one out earlier 
to scroll down quite a way for it. There it is, the Sunrise Icon Pack. Okay, and I'm going to click Install. And that will take just a minute or so to download. Unfortunately, I can't pause this video recorder, I'm sorry. So you're going to have to sit through a quick download and a little quick install. It's probably not a bad thing to see. So once it's installed, which will be any second now, there we go. I can tell it's installed because it gives me the option to uninstall it or open it. I'm going to use my um, hamburger menu there, my pink toolbar, to go back home. Then I'm going to hold down on that once more, edit icon, from icon pack, there's my new icon pack there, sunrise icon pack, and I can scroll through and find something that I think is going to be nice and arty, a little landscape picture there for instance. If I don't like that one, well, I can pop out and choose from a different one. There we go, let's flip down, um, that one, okay. So in a nutshell, that is how you can set up a folder, add apps to it, and change the icon that you see on the front to something of your choosing from an icon pack. I hope that is helpful.